Hey, Tim Dory here, founder of VideoQuan. So today we're gonna to do something more lighthearted versus the political advertising hate messaging that we were talking about yesterday. So today we're gonna to talk about which car color performs best in TV commercials and videos predicted for 2024. Let's get right into it. So one of the first things that we found is you actually can't clump together trucks and cars. These perform different from one e from each other and the color schemes, what works best for trucks doesn't work best for cars. And so we had to break these out into two separate analyses. While in the process of doing that, we also noticed that trucks seem to consistently outperform cars. So meaning that whenever we were looking at trucks with colors, we saw that the truck colors kept coming up to the top and car colors kept going lower. And so we looked into that further and we got rid of coloring altogether. And we said, let's just look at trucks versus cars. And one of the interesting unexpected findings that we had was that it turns out that truck commercials, television commercials, video assets related to trucks statistically outperform cars while else equal. And that was unexpected. And what it means is that if you're a car company or a car dealer and you had limited budget for television and video and you needed to, you could only advertise one and all else was equal, you would choose trucks over cars because statistically speaking, that's what's shown to have higher ROI and engagement on video. Uh, so unexpected result. All right, let's get into the findings for cars. So it should be no shock to folks that red came in number one. And we see red cars in tons of television commercials and video assets already today. And um, it should be, again, not, not a surprise because when you're dealing with an industry that's already spending billions of dollars in video, they have a lot of data. They could actually unwind a lot of these patterns themselves without using something like video quant uh, because they've spent billions versus brands that are spending only 10 million or even at 100 million, you really can't slice and dice the data because it gets sparse and it gets really noisy. But when you're talking about billions of dollars, you better be able to tell it apart what color works better. And so it's not shocking that uh, auto manufacturers have already figured out that red works best. What we didn't expect to find though, is that it turns out that blue is a close contender. In fact, it was a statistical dead heat with red for, for cars. And that was something we weren't expecting. Following on further down the list, we see that white cars and gray cars are very comparable to each other and are definitely further down the list of statistically underperforming ROI and, and engagement for television commercials and video assets versus red cars. And then way down at the bottom of the list, not too far behind white and gray cars though, is black car colors don't work all that well with television commercials, video assets. All right, let's switch on to trucks. So again, no shock, white. Turns out to be the most effective based on our analysis of over 10 million television commercials and video assets uh, for truck colors. I uh, came at it in, in a VQ score of 0 0.52. By the way, a VQ score is between zero and one. One means super viral, high ROI for television and uh, video. Uh, zero means no engagement, zero ROI. And so we're looking for relative comparisons here. So 0 0.52 for, for white came in at number one for trucks. Again, blue came in as a close second. So I don't know what's going on with blue. We should probably look into that a little bit further. That was unexpected. We then see black, gray, and red trucks kind of in a second uh, group cohort. And then last on the list was silver color. So if you found this interesting, be sure to check out the VideoQuant website. We have a ton more articles about other industries, the political article uh, for political uh, TV campaigns and how to break hate, I think is a particularly interesting one for folks that are just enjoy television advertising and analyzing it. Um, and again, I'm the founder of VideoQuant. We we're kind of like the Bloomberg data for television and video creative strategy. We mine data on over 10 million television commercials and video assets to identify the needle in the haystack things that are effective and work versus the 99% of things that don't work and people have already spent money to just show that it doesn't work. We basically find those patterns and help direct brands towards things that are more effective at driving engagement and ROI for television commercials and videos. Blah, 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 blah. All right, hope that was helpful. Have a good day. Take it easy.